Oh, we're rolling. We are. We're on. Woo! Okay, this is Uncut with KJH, and I'm going to show you how to apply eyeshadow. I do not have the most hooded eyes ever, but I do have a little bit of an obstruction of lid space right here. If I really relax my lid, this is me relaxed as if I'm talking to you. I am talking to you. I'm looking at the lens. I'm talking to you at the other end of that lens. My lid there hangs quite heavily over the outer third part of my eye. Um, however, if I flex my face and do my like selfie face, I can avoid that. I can get rid of it straight away. Like I'm just lifting my eyebrows. Wait, hold on. See? Relaxed? Not relaxed. So sometimes when I take a photo, I might do my pose face because whatever, vanity. Don't we all have like a selfie face? Back to the, back to the tips. The only thing you must know when it comes to painting eyeshadow on your face, on your eyes, if you have a hooded eye or you have any kind of lid issue, obstruction, whatever, is whatever you want to be seen by the person that's looking at you or just by yourself when you look in the mirror, whatever you want to be seen, you must paint that on whilst your face is in its most neutral. For example, right now. So I'm going to do one eye with my eye entirely open and then I'm going to blink and show you what it looks like and then I'm going to show you how to fix it. I'm going to use an eyeshadow palette from um, Vive Muse. It's the original, the essential palette. And I'm going to start by using a little dense smudgy brush. This is the number 12 KJH brush. And I'm going to take a dark brown shade and I'm going to start at the outer corner of the eye. And the reason why I'm starting the outer corner is because I always want the most product to be the most intense. I want the color to be the most intense at the outer corner, not the inner corner, right? Um, and the same goes on the lid. I've got nothing on my skin right now. I'm not gonna use primers because I don't want to, um, I'm not a primer person typically, but I don't want to, uh, what's the word? I don't want to create too sticky of a lid space. So the reason why I did that first is because I wanted just to show you the last step from it. You have to close your eye to do lash definition, no matter whether you've got hooded eyes or not. But if I want it to be visible with my eye open, you have to take a brush, a big fluffy brush like this. I'm taking that exact same color and I'm gonna look into the camera, into the screen, and I'm gonna go right, like half on that space, half on that space. So I'm going half at the lash line and half at the lid that's folding over the top. And I'm gonna paint on it. It's gonna look messy until I'm finished. So don't, don't, don't panic. But you would feel like that's counterintuitive, right? Because you're like, oh no, it's going everywhere. It's not, it's actually going in the exact spot that it needs to go. So I'm gonna keep doing this when my eyes open. And then I'm just gonna gently swirl the product around very delicately. It's important to have minimal um, sort of pressure when applying eyeshadow because if you push too hard, you're gonna create possible creases in the detail. I'm keeping my eye open for in here. I'm gonna go underneath and connect that lower lash line to that top lid. I mean, that literally took not even 30 seconds to do. And now I'm just blending with my eye open. My eye open, I'm gonna take a little bit more shadow. Is that the same shade? Yeah. I'm gonna take this more shadow and just intensify the bottom lash line with this brush, okay. So then I'm gonna just keep building it until I get the intensity that I want. And I'm really wiggling the brush almost inside of the lid while the eye is open. However, when I look down now, there's a big giant crease in the middle. So now what I do, is I take this brush, I buff it into my towel. It's virtually clean. And now I'm gonna blend into that space to just soften that hard line. I don't wanna fill in that hard line because I actually quite like that, uh, you know, that like little bit of light that's coming from there. But I can use this brush now to sort of blend and maneuver the shadow into an area that I want. If your skin is really, really, really soft and moves at like literally the slightest touch, you can hold the skin taut, but I wouldn't pull the skin back because you're creating an unnatural shape for your face. It's not your eye shape, so I wouldn't like do it personally, but it's, it's just creating something that's not actually, it's gonna look different when you're done. So again, just blending into that space there. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more and sort of really finesse the detail because now that I've got this on I can close my eye and be like okay I want a little bit heavier of a sort of contrast right there and I want a bit heavier of a contrast at the lash line so I'm going to go back to my small little smudgy brush and just sort of start to like really push it in and um, create depth because the smudgier and the denser the brush the more impact on pigment that you might have so that's kind of just like the basics of what you need to know for applying shadow I'm brushing blending my brush into my towel again before I sort of go in and further buff a little just to soften the edges. I wanted to do this with a higher contrast shadow because I wanted to you to really see sort of a difference. 
And if you don't want your eyeshadow to come that high, let's say you're like, ah, oh, that's a bit much for me. I don't really like the how visible it is. I don't like how smoky it is. First of all, you don't a smoky eye doesn't mean black shadow. A smoky eye means just smoky textures, in my opinion. Um, I mean, it's all very open for interpretation, but I think like I'm, I think this is a smoky eye. If you ever find that you're getting a little bit hard of a hard of a blend here, you can buff the brush into a towel. And one of my sort of favorite things to try before I sort of think about concealers is I just take a face powder um, and I sort of start somewhere where I am not going to imprint too much payoff um, and I start there and then I start to blend that powder into the tail of the wing of the shape of the wing and then that way you get a softer blend out of it and actually this is a really good way to reinforce longevity out of an eyeshadow by putting a little bit of face powder over it, it should be relatively colorless but it's giving it a little bit softer of a look all the while making it last longer. Now, if I want to build the intensity again, I can go back in with more of that brown shadow and add more depth because this is obviously some of that powder took the depth away. So that's more of a tip for longevity, right? Now, on the flip side, if you're like, I don't really want this amount of color. I don't really, really want like the amount of shadow going like as high as you have. Bear in mind, I believe that whatever space there is between the lash line and the eyebrow is fair game space to play in if you are playing with shadows. I think that like this lash line area is so limiting. I think it's really fun to sort of go up and up into here almost and like really sort of play. Even in this space, I just took a bit fresh shadow. I love playing in here and pushing it up into the eyebrow because it looks dramatic without looking like you've done too much. Do you see that like tiny little how sort of supermodel, supermodel-y my eyes just got because of that? It just gives you this like intense kind of cool, whatever. Now, if I don't want it to go that high, I'll take this brush and I'll just go around the lash line with my eye closed under the lash line because there's, there's no one way to do eyeshadow, right? Around the eye, around the lash line, just sort of smushing it in. I've already got a little bit of mascara on. And then I'll take this brush, make sure there's not too much in it. And I'll just buff that into the lash line. And that's another way to do it. So there's two totally different looks. Um, if I wanted to get a heavier lash line out of this, I would go in with black at the root of the lash. So I'm taking black on a smaller brush. And now I'm going to get this lash line effect because there's no, there's no contrast really from this with the shadow being here, if that makes any sense. It's like the lash line detail gives you a smoky look without feeling like you want to go up. But if you've got like very heavy lids, all this is going to get hidden. That's the point that I'm sort of trying to share with this side. If you've got very heavy lids here and your eyelid completely sits over the lash line area, then you do, in my opinion, need to go higher for it to be visible. Um, that said, there's no right or wrong way. And it really is just all about what you want at the end of the day. And so I think I just said at the end of the day a thousand times. Okay. Just pushing that in, just a little black shadow, which is giving me, giving me a little bit closer of that kind of look without having to, without losing. So it's get, giving me contrast between the lash line and this were formerly the same color. Now this has a little bit of darker color in it, which is letting that look not so heavy. It's like the, the darker the lash line is, the softer those colors in the middle of the eye will appear to be. And so it's really all about contrast and playing with light and shadows. And this palette is amazing. Oh my God. Um, you see? So now this doesn't feel so much anymore, but I am gonna go back to that mid-brown color and just build this as much as I can just to show you what you can do with just lashes, lash definition, makeup. Cool, do you have any questions? I can't hear you, but if you do have any questions, you can pop them in the comments bit below. All right, so I think that's good. I think that's a good description of just two different eye shadow looks. This really being for, if you've got quite heavy hooded lids, this being for everyone, um, but honestly, just rimming the eye shape that you have, I think is a beautiful way to start. And then if you want it to be really visible when your eyes are open, you just, would go a lot higher than you think you should go. Pop any questions below. All the products are listed in the comments section in the in the in the in the box below, whatever it's called. And thank you for watching. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube, please do.